YouTube, what is going on? It's Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back, finally, to Gallup Racer 2004. I know most of you guys have been anxiously waiting for this game in particular to return to the channel. I appreciate the love and support, and I apologize, of course, for the hiatus as I had to attend to uh, personal life things. We're going to get right back into the swing of things here. So it says I played this game like a month ago. I don't remember playing it a month ago at all. I, I really don't. Um, if I did, I mean, maybe I have footage that I haven't uploaded. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Um, anyways, let's see the horses we currently got. Cause again, it's, it's been a while. So let's look at who we have here. So we have a lot of horses. We have nightclub who, um, has been doing pretty well. I, I do recall that nightclub. I've really been behind seven to 12 furlongs. I have a new recording set up as well. So I'm testing some new things out. Audio may be a little different. Hopefully it shouldn't be. <clears throat> but yeah, Nightclub, um, I think we've discovered that he is going to be consistent for most of his racing career. I don't think he'll have a significant drop off. So that's good. Um, we have Regal Soul, who I believe has been doing well. I think I compared Regal Soul to kind of a um, Arctic crop. This horse is pretty easy as a front runner, and I know we've been able to really get some decent wins with him, as you can see. Ten lifetime starts, seven wins, uh, two second place finishes, three G1 wins on top of that. So Regal Soul is already making a name for himself. We have Suave Buster, four-year-old uh, filly. We do have one G1 with her, so Suave is looking pretty nice. Short Tango. Um... Again, it's been a minute since I played. I remember I think I got Short Tango and Citrus Wind just to improve the trainer relationships. Maybe with Shiba for Short Tango. Um, Pale Fear. <clears throat> uh, I know I have this horse, I think, to try to mend my relationship with Cook. Because, well, we've been able to win with this horse, at least. Um, two out of our last three races we didn't win with Pale Fear. So we're trying to build up that. Report getting back on Cook's good side, and then we still have Western Tiger here with uh, Pink, last corner leader, as you can see, Western Tiger. Undefeated. <laughs> I did not remember that. Undefeated. I think this horse did get horse of the year. Seven lifetime starts, seven wins, all G1s. We have absolutely nailed it with Western Tiger. So I hope we can continue to do that. I feel like I'm going to be a little bit rusty, and then we have Hidden Mystic, our three-year-old Colt. Uh, from Sedate Ruler out of Night Breeze. And uh, we haven't had anything impressive yet with Hidden Mystic. Pretty sure we're going to try to get this horse into his um, his running form as well. So we have a lot to do. And uh, we're going to get right into the swing of things here. <clears throat> we have a lot to do. We have a lot to do. It's the only problem with having so many horses and having such a long hiatus. I did not want to be away from this game this long but as i said in previous videos uh this game is going to be back around full time on this channel which means even when i'm playing other horse racing games i'm still going to constantly upload videos here of 2004. Um, so suave buster is the favorite today in this g3 she is dropping in class we should be able to to um yeah, we should be able to win this one with relative ease got to get her to the front post position 12 eight furlongs on the turf and there she is. We got to win. So let's make sure we can make that happen. But yeah, it's uh, it's been a while. It says March 3rd. I swear I do not remember playing this a month ago. I don't know if maybe I just logged in or I saved my game. I don't know what happened, but I did not play it a month ago. All right. So good start here for Suave. Uh, she doesn't want to be leading, so I hope the one horse will eventually overtake us. All right, now this is pretty good. Don't want to bump. Be careful. I think she's okay right here. As long as she's not leading, this is actually perfect positioning. I think I can get in front of this horse. I can. Yep. This is pretty ideal positioning here for Suave. She should get a seven. She does. Yeah, this should be an easy win for us. Time or spurt properly. And we should be good to go. I love playing uh, Gal Racer around this time of year, especially because most tracks are going to start opening back up that were closed okay, during the winter here in the North the America. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. My local racetrack will be opening back up in about two and a half weeks, home of the Ohio Derby. So really looking forward to that. 
Okay, Suave. Let's get her going. Let's get her going. And the nice runoff. Revolution, first time back. That is what I like to see. That is what I like to see. A revolution already as we get right back in the mix. She's not completely pulling away, though. Not completely pulling away. Less than half a furlong to go. We should still just get out the wire. It's a good win for Suave Buster. Good G3 win. We'll take it. So a little bit of space left to spare. Solid win for the Philly. G3 is something to celebrate about. Granted, we are used to winning G1s, but we'll take it. Yeah, two and a half length win. Wow. And double S is all the way through. Man, you're talking about coming out of the gate firing. Best speed, start dash, and quick position. Again, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. That's going to be my saying for this video. Anytime we do well, I'll take it. it could always be worse. We're back to back here. Regal Soul up. G3 dropping class should be an easy one for him as well. He's going to be running to the, to the front. Tanaka's going to be on our inside post position one. Good friend Tanaka. And, uh, yeah, again, we're dropping in class with Regal Soul. So let's go ahead and hit this thing. I don't remember what my objective was going to be for this year in Galbracer. This is our 20th year in this game, in this career mode. I don't recall what my goal is going to be. So I think until I get back to playing this game on a regular basis where I feel like I'm in the loop of exactly what I'm doing, this year is just going to be all about just making sure that we're, that we're finishing hitting our goals. Um, you know, I'm not going to have anything specific to try to achieve this year because, like I said, it's, it's been a while since I played this game. So I think most important is just making sure we have a successful year and, um, you know, we do well with all of our horses. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, I know he wants to be in the front, but I'm not trying to push him too far, too fast, I guess I should say. Regal Soul, not too happy with me here today, and this may end up ruining our race, because now he is just taking off. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Front runner, you unlocked an ability, and you're like, <laughs> look how far ahead we are, and we're coming. Golly. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Oh, I'm so worried. If we're able to still win this race, that's going to be a miracle, because this horse absolutely took off. And the reason why he was upset is because I didn't get him to the front like I should have. Not as quickly. In fact, we were still in second place. Stamina's already dropping. This is... I, I can't... I like I said, I'd be surprised. I think we're on the rough as well. I mean, I'm not even going to adjust. Not even going to adjust. Can we keep an eye on the field. Yeah, not a good race at all. Regal Soul, not happy with our performance. Let's get him off the rough. Let's see if that makes any bit of a difference. He's still hanging in there, but here comes the field, and they're going to get past him, maybe. Well, we got second, third. Yeah. That's, uh, that's my fault. I definitely should have uh, I should have pushed him to the front. I know that. I kind of fell asleep. I was thinking he was going to be okay. Pretty Sonata ends up setting the record. That, that's my fault. Yeah, feel was not good positioning over eager over speed. That's all my fault. It's all of my fault. I definitely should have. Yeah, just, I fell asleep. There's nothing else to say to that. It happens every blue moon. I need to be much more aware. It's a lot of points we lost. So 7K. Uh, and especially for a G3, a drop in class, that's, that's not ideal. At least we still have Regal. Um, they won the race in a G2. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of stick to whatever races the AI puts us in for this year, like I said, because it's been so long since I played. I just want to... Um, so they want us in a different race. Well, I don't want her running in the same race. So this is Suave Buster. She goes 8 to 12 furlongs in the turf. We can put her in a G3 again. Dropping class. Everybody else should be good to go. So, um, yeah, I definitely uh, bombed that one, but again, that's just my fault for kind of falling asleep at the wheel, so to speak. But it's all good. We'll uh, we'll get Regal Soul back up. So we win. Hopefully, at that G two in a couple of months. But Pale Fear, Pale Fear, a horse that we're working on to mend one of our relationships. 
with one of the trainers. We're expected to finish six, so that's our goal. Field of 12, going eight furlongs. See what Pale Fear can do. Over odds is the goal. Let's make sure we can make that happen. Okay. Here we go. At the best of starts, so we'll roll with it. And because we don't have to be in the front, we can kind of just have Pale Fear settle in wherever. He wants to settle in as long as he's not last and as long as he's not near the front. And this is pretty good, so. What track is this? Miami? Does Miami have a rough this time of year? I think it does. Yep, end of April. Well, actually, December to February is a rough, so yeah. Seven is good. Seven is good. Pale Fear wants to get going down this back stretch. Not gonna let him. Not gonna let him. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Long. I know what you want to do. You just want to okay, take off because there's a slope. Not line. gonna let it happen. Not gonna let it happen. Stay, 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 stay. Okay. <clears throat> Newman's getting going already. Guess we should probably start doing the same, eh? Let's get Pale Fear going. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. Two furlongs to go. No revolution, but a really good run off of this turn. Those other horses are on the stretch. So Pale Fear really competing here. Try to get in a money place finish. Let's see if he can dig in. We got third place in the bag. Think third? Third place. Not a bad run there for Pale Fear. Solid run. And uh, if he had a little bit more speed, that was definitely a win in sight. But like I said, we'll take that third place finish, that money place finish. Hit our goal. Avoided the rough, which was crucial. I'm glad I actually did check that. Granted, I was going to stay to the outside anyway. So that, that is a good result for Pale Fear. Very good result. <clears throat> Very good result indeed. I'm happy with that. All right, let's see. Pale Fear. Ooh, the Kyoto Derby. We'd have to request a horse. I would like to do the Kyoto Derby, but it's probably not something I should be focusing on right now. To be completely honest. Six to nine furlongs, or seven to nine furlongs on the turf for Pale Fear. Get him that race in March. I would love to do the Kyoto, um, Kyoto Stakes, but we're not even going to... We're not going to worry about it. We have other more important things to focus on. Again, this year is just going to be all about getting our form back. And then next year, we'll actually have a, a set goal. You want to challenge me? Um, yeah, I still don't know. Uh, I'm, I mean, Hidden Mystic is still, we're still figuring things out. Sorry, not, not today. Probably not this year in general. Not challenging anybody. We're just getting back into our running form. That is our goal. And we'll do the little stuff. Right. Hit a mystic. Okay, much better odds here today. Expected to finish fourth. I think this is the best potential uh, we've had since we've started. And this is Hit a Mystic's third race. Again, out of Sedate, or excuse me, out of Night Breeze from Sedate Ruler. So this should be one of our best horses. Should be one of our best horses to date. Top five, so we have a little bit of leniency where we finish. I still don't know where this horse likes to run. I still have no idea. Toughness is 80, feels 45. Um, yeah, we, we still don't know where even this horse wants to be. And I can't remember from the last two races I did what we tried. So I figure the best thing is probably just to leave the horse mid in the midfield. Oh, mid runner. I do have that actually in my notes. Okay. I do have that in my notes. I'm glad I do. So we'll keep the horse midfield and hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully we can actually have a decent result here. Finally get to see this horse's potential to some extent now. Um, we're second place right now. Doesn't really count as mid. I'm just gonna leave the horse here. I don't think we need to do any adjusting. Because again, until I know, until that that um, that trait is actually revealed in game, you know, I, I'm still kind of guessing. But I do have in my notes mid runner, so. That means from the last two races we did with him, I figured out that running in the front or the back probably wasn't going to work. All right, let's get him moving. 
Let's get him moving. Let's get him moving. Right off the curb here. I should say turn four. Last corner leader ability. Hit him Mystic. Was trying to break his maiden a furlong to go. He's got plenty of stamina left. Where is the speed? Where is the speed? We got to finish top four. Why is he dropping so quick? Did we get top five? We still got top five. Thank goodness. But golly, he just... He had plenty of stamina left. And no speed. That, that's a little concerning. We fe I felt good. Hit that ability. Spurt was B. Pace judge, not good. Slow start. I mean, slow start, whatever. Pace judge. Positioning was D. So, do we need to be further ahead? I'm, I'm confused. In my notes, I have mid-runner. I thought we were in the middle of the pack. They're saying position rating was D. So, we need to either B... Closer to the leader or further back? Either way, hit our goal. Nightclub is up. We're expected to finish 7th. I remember this is a horse that always ends up finishing better than what the game projects will finish. So, 7th place here in a G3 wouldn't be bad, but we're, we're aiming for a money place finish. Full field of 14 here. Nightclub's going to want to get out to the front. Let's see what we can do with him. They hit a mystic. I mean, we hit our goal. We've been hitting our goals, but it, it really felt like we could have potentially won that race, but no speed at all. I didn't sense any speed on that horse, which is a little concerning. So slow. I forgot his stuff was so slow. All right, we got to get nightclub out. Got to get him out, get him out, get him out. All right, slow down, slow down, slow down. Yeah, hit and miss. We're just going to have to figure out. Uh, next race, I'm going to try to keep him second in line. Like, wh whoever is leading, whoever is um, lead horse in that race, I'm going to try to keep hit and miss right behind that horse. And see what that does. And if we still get a bad position rating, then we know for sure hit and Mystic is going to want to be probably closer to... Um, is actually going to want to be a closer. Something along those lines. I kind of had him front, mid... Next time we'll try him out. And they're in the home stretch. Okay, let's see what Nightclub can do. Nightclub pulling away. He well, we were kind of we looked like we were pulling away. Furlong left to go. Still plenty of kick left in Nightclub. This horse can dig in. The field is coming. Nightclub is still trying to battle back. The six is gonna go past. We still may have second place secured. I told you this horse. That's either second or third by a nose. Third place. We'll take it. Told you, this horse always does better than what his odds say. What was my saying? I said whatever the odds, whatever we're projected to finish, move us down, you know, half the way. So if we're projected to finish seventh, we're more than likely going to finish third or fourth. That's always how it happens with this horse. Time spurt. Still another great finish for nightclub. Really, really enjoying the ride we've been able to have with this horse. Five years old. We lost points for it and missed it because we were we hit our goal. It's that top five. We were supposed to finish fourth. Ay ay ay. Okay. Hit and missed it. Is anything revealed yet? Anything additional? Stamina's forty six, so that's not good. Even though we had plenty of stamina in that race. Ay ay ay. It was our best finish to date, at least. So, um. Eight furlongs to, I don't know. Actually, what was the last race? Because that seemed to be good for us. That was seven furlongs on the dirt. So we'll stick to seven or eight. Just because this horse doesn't have a whole lot of stamina to work with. But we can do eight furlongs next week. That'll be perfect. Uh, Pale Fear is already set to go. Who do we just run with? Nightclub. Nightclub, we'll just keep him in the races they wanted to run in. G2 going at 11 and a half furlongs. So we'll take it. Yeah, hit and miss. Like, I, I don't understand what happened in that. There was no speed. I'll be really surprised once we see his speed rating and it's like a 60 or like a low 70. Depending on when he's supposed to hit his peak. If it's in the 60s, that's not a good sign. I hope not. But uh, there was there was, there was was no speed with hit and mystic. No real speed in the stretch. Whoever's challenging me, I don't care. I'm not even going to look at it because we're not focusing on that for this year. Yeah. And just a reminder, um, these episodes will probably start and, st start and stop randomly. 
I'm so far behind on uploads and it's a lot easier for me to just bulk record in one session and then I just kind of chop the videos up into their individual episodes that I upload for you guys as opposed to doing an intro and outro every single time. It's a lot easier just to go through and record all this in, in one one stop. You guys get content sooner and you get more content sooner that way. So Hit and Mystic, we're back again. We're expected to finish fifth, a full field of 14. So, oh, is actually a front runner. Okay, I finally did not know that. I didn't think he was a front runner, but he is, like his father. I don't know. I should have assumed that. I can't remember his his mother, Nightbreeze. I can't remember where she liked to run, but Sedate Ruler always wanted to, I mean, Sedate Ruler had to be leading, and we won most of the times with him doing that, obviously, because that was his preference. I don't know why I didn't kind of guess that, that Hidden Mystic probably would have had that same that same preference like his father. So at least we have that for sure. Um, we have that confirmed now, I guess I should say. that He is a front runner. Wants to be the leader. So that could help us. Now that we know top five, I'm, I feel much more confident knowing that. All right, Hidden. This is today's, this is your true test today. Your first real test. Now that we know where exactly you want to be on the track. And his father has the record for this for this particular course and race. What are the what are the odds of that? What are the odds of that? Racing on a track where his father still has the record and his father has been retired for years now. So that just goes to show you Sedate Ruler is still one of the best horses in this game that a lot of people overlook and sleep on. But again, I followed him in real life as Skip Away, so that's the only reason why I know that and why I gave him a shot here. Yeah, no, it's a little bit fast, but we gotta get you to the front. Gotta get you to the front. You're all right. You're okay. Now you can slow down a bit. Top five. Still need a top five finish. His stamina's still not good, so we're gonna have to be careful. We got him to the front, even though it took us a minute. So I don't know what that over. Okay. I don't know what that is, that grade is gonna one. be. Um. I don't know what that grade is going to be. This this could either go really well or it's going to go really bad. I don't know. Last corner leader, though. I forgot. We have to keep that ability going. Top five. Come on, Hidden. I'm trying to save as much stamina as possible. Stamina is not good. Furlong left to go. He's still looking okay. Top five is going to be a struggle, possibly. Still looking okay. Still looking okay. Second place. I think still second place, just at the wire. Third. We'll take it. All right. Close enough. Close enough. It's better than what we were expected to finish. That is the key to hit a Mystic. His, his stamina has to improve, but I feel I feel more confident. I was worried he was going to start dropping off, but he actually was able to really hold on there literally till the end. So his only thing is stamina. Position much better, still not an A, which would be ideal. Spurt was B. Uh, we could have timed that maybe earlier. I'm not sure if that would have pushed us further ahead at the end of the race or if that would have dropped us back. This is stamina is something that's pretty apparent. The one race it seemed like stamina didn't affect him, but then he had no speed. This race definitely felt like there was a lack of stamina. But uh, we're finally getting it figured out with Hit and Mystic. That's the main thing. 